What a matchup we have here at Extreme Heat. We have the Apostles of Chaos, the defending Warriors of Wrestling Champions, going against the Society Event True, managed by 2011 WWE Hall of Fame inductee, Paul Elring, who is no stranger to Magic Tag Teams. Chris, that's 100% right. I got the opportunity before the show to pick his brain just a little bit on the art that is known as Tag Team Wrestling. And Chris, what I can give to you, that valued information is both members of the team have to be one incoherent force to be right. They have to be on the same page. They have to be in the same line, the same, the same punctuation, if you will. Because the second they are, that's the difference between a win and a loss in the record books. Now we got Jason Karloff and John Cannon representing the Society of Venture. Chris Benny in the ring going against Jason Karloff now. Benny's teammate Logan Black. And man, oh man, Jason Karloff, a former heavyweight champion, locking eyes with the tall powerhouse in Chris Benny. But back on Paul Ellering, you may remember him as the legendary manager for the Road Warriors, also known as the Legion of Doom. And more recently, if you follow WWE's NXT, he was the manager for years for the Authors of Pain. Now, the Society of Venture has an opportunity here to claim those Warriors of Wrestling Tag Team belts, but the, the Apostles of Chaos have ran the Tag Team Division for months now since capturing those belts. Chris, and let me tell you something here for you, for everyone watching and listening at home, there's a reason that the name of this show has to do with how hot it is. Because let me tell you, Chris, it's no winter, it's no winter mist in here, Chris. It's warm. It's, it's hot. It is, it is humid. warm, it is muggy, it is sluggish. It is now, hot. Let me tell you, I haven't stopped sweating since I woke up. I mean, I sweat anyway, but I sweat more when it's hot. And let me tell you, Chris, it is humid. And Stop. playing a part into this matchup, it will be how, how will the humidity and the heat affect the stamina of both tag teams? That's going to be a huge factor in this. John Cannon now in the ring with Logan Black. Japanese arm drag by John Cannon. Another one! You don't see that that often. Nice suplex. Cannon in control. Logan Black has wrestled overseas recently back in April. Chris, are we just going to ignore the fact that Logan Black just poked the eyes of John Cannon? No, we're not going to ignore it. It's our job to pinpoint it, and you did your job. Thank you, Chris. I'm glad to be recognized. I'll take my raise on Monday. I'm not in charge of that. Take it up with Joey B. Nice move there by Cannon in complete control. I get paid in trident layers. Right. That's great. Jason Karloff's in. Him. Nice back elbow. Nice tag team maneuver there. Paul Ettering loves it. Karloff going for the pin. Just a two count. Last time we saw Karloff, he speared the life out of uh, Jose Salvador last month. Ben a tricking Karloff, making him fall out of the ring. Karloff back in. Nice kick there. The big man can get up there. Paul Ellering's got to love what he's seeing so far. Society of Venture, SOV, uh, as the crowd's been chanting, has been total domination of this one. Logan Black trying to fight out, misses a punch, kicked in the gut, Cannon flipping over, and that's gonna hurt. 
That's going to leave a mark. It's going to leave some bruises for tomorrow. The amount of torque that is generated when you there do will. a sort of sunset flip like that, Chris, the impact that Logan Black took on his neck apparently doesn't phase him at all, but we can see it now a little bit as he uses everything he's got to put the big man down. Now, the Apostles of Chaos has just drastically changed the odds of this matchup after hitting that. John Cannon is down, and he looks like he's out. Chris Benet in the ring. The ref didn't see the double team maneuver as he was distracted by trying to reprimand Karloff. Cannon struggling to get to his feet, but he's in the Apostles of Chaos corner. And I can see Chris Logan Black is just itching. Was just at the, just the prior moment ago was just itching to lay a hurting on John Cannon, but the ref knowing exactly what the Apostles of Chaos are up to, keeping a nice, nice Hawkeye on him, if you will. Oh, Logan Black spitting at Jason Carlo. That's gonna make Carlo get out of his corner, but the ref. The ref is distracted. Look at this. Chris Benny is holding on to Cannon. And a vicious shot there by Black. Apostles of Chaos taking advantage of the opportunity. Chris, any other ref in there, I don't know if they would have been able to hold Jason Karloff back. I really, I really don't believe that anyone else could have. Benny going for the body splash on the big man Cannon. The pin. One, two, and no. That was very close there. Looked like the AOC Apostle of Chaos were about to defend their belt successfully. But Cannon still has some fighting spirit in him. Going after the gut. Karlov trying to find his opportunity to get back into this. Ah. A club to the back. Benny's a big man. Benny's a, there's no small man in this match. Even the ref is a big dude, Chris. You gotta get a big riff for this type of matchup. You gotta make sure no one gets out of line. Scoop slam there by Benny. I wrote a letter to Joey B. I hope he reinforced the ring like I advised. I haven't seen that before. That is a and I know I, I, and I and I was speaking. Oh, Cannon kicked out again. Chris, I did have a brief word with the apostles before before the show, before they Look tried fighting me. But I did hear over here something about a new maneuver. I guess that's what they were talking about. Logan Black is trying to bite the fingers off of Cannon. Carlo trying to get back into this again. The ref holding him back. Cannon is helpless. He's helpless on the ropes. And helpless as he's taking a beating from Benny and Black. He's got to get out of that corner. Crowd trying to root on SOV, trying to get counted back into this. The tag team gold on the line. Benny distracting the ref and Logan Black with a dirty trick. That's why the Apostles of Chaos are the tag team champions here in Warriors of Wrestling. We could see it because they take advantage of every little opportunity that they get in the ring. So even, and I, and I, and I say this with, with, a, with a very specific tone, but when they even might be physically outmatched, you got to do everything you can. But the Apostles of Chaos, I don't even, I don't know if I'd make the argument that they're physically outmatched. I'd say that this is a very even physical competition with the size of both of these teams, Chris. Logan Black tagged back in. John Cannon still in this matchup. He's been the Iron Man almost for the Society of Ventru. Karloff is dying to get back into this. He's getting anxious. Cannon can't even stand up straight. I've never seen Cannon this beat up before. What is about to happen here? Are we about to see a double cannonball? We are about to see a double cannonball, but it didn't work. A double cannonball. Apostles of Chaos loaded up the cannon, but no target to acquire. Man, they loaded up to a tree fire. Karloff, Chris, you see him getting amped up. Lord have mercy if that big man gets in this squared circle. Cannon has to get, has to, get to his feet first. He's got to tag in Karloff to keep the Society of Ventures hopes for capturing Tag Team Gold alive. Reversal, Logan Black sent it to the corner. Karloff is in. Karloff is in. Double clothesline. That's a big man, Chris. 
The Ripper! Jason Karloff cleaning house. Ripping apart the Apostles of Chaos! Super kick to the jaw of Black. A vicious chop. Look at those quick hands. John Cannon going after Black in the SOV corner. Hold on, Chris. Hold on. Hold the phone. Sending Logan Black into Bene. A form of a hip toss. For throwing Logan Black into Chris Bene. Oh, what a kick. Not sure if he landed all of it. I'm not sure if Karloff he got all of that big pin. boot, but he might have gotten it out. Two, two. two. No. Almost. Bene kicking now. Well, it looks like SOV signaling for the end. Benny sent up. Hold, hold on, Chris. That takes a lot of strength. That takes a lot of strength. Logan Black knocking off Cannon. Thrusting his shoulder to the gut of Karloff. Spine buster by Karloff. Oh, vicious maneuver there by Benny. STO by Cannon. Logan Black going for a suplex and he lands it. Let's not forget, Chris, that there is a Hall of Famer on the outside of the ring there trying to get his team back into this contest. And if anyone knows how to do it, Chris, I'd bet my life savings and yours on Paul Ellering. Well, interesting you brought that up. Because of the presence of Paul Ellering, I actually favored SOV in this matchup before on the Facebook Live and YouTube video that was shot for uh, the Warriors of Wrestling pre-show. Paul Ellering getting in on the action, but the ref didn't see it. He just clocked. Didn't see it. Logan didn't Black in the Take your complaints up with management, because nobody saw it. John Cannon's got his crosshairs on Chris Benny. Logan Black vulnerable in the ring. Karloff and Cannon look fine right now. And now a double team on Benny. Back and forth, exchanging shots on him. Logan Black has no idea what's going on. Society Adventure abusing the big man. What's this? Logan Black, now he's in it, going after Cannon. Benny fighting back. The referee trying to get some type of order in this contest. Remember, the winner of this walks out of extreme heat with the Warriors Wrestling Tag Team belt. What's that? The bell was rung. Hold on, I see that the rep is... Both teams DQ, this match is officially over. But SOV and AOC don't care. They don't care, Chris. They're still going at it. They just want to inflict as much pain here by Carlos. As much pain as possible. Man. Man, oh man. Maybe we'll see a rematch between these two. It looked like an even matchup, but it's double DQ. That's the official ruling. So with that said. The Apostles of Chaos retain the Warriors of Wrestling Tag Team Belts. A missed opportunity there for the Society of Ventru. Paul Ellering tried to coach his team. Karloff and Cannon, but it will be Logan Black and Chris Benet walking out of extreme heat with the tag team goals. 